Hello everybody and welcome. I think there is something wrong with me. This is going to be not a huge, humongous, gargantuan, gigantic spaceship. This is going to be actually a sensible spacecraft performing a mission to Duna. As you can see here, I'm using my recreation of the SLS booster system. And I'm using this because NASA was thinking about putting about 70 to 100 tons into lower Earth orbit. And, well, my spacecraft, which I call the sensible one, is weighing about 70 tons or something. You can see here the second stage has detached. And the spacecraft is basking in the sunlight. And then, of course, we have to turn it around so you can get a better look. There we go, and of course the usual stuff, communications, power and thermal regulations, because we're using nuclear engines back in the main section, where also the main crew section is located. Okay, this is a modular spaceship, so you can attach and detach stuff to it or from it. And in this configuration it consists of, well, the main engine block with the crew section, then there is a lander, and then there is also the control or piloting section, which is supposed to return to Kerbin. All of this is supposed to be reusable in one way or another. There we go. Hi Duna, nice to see you. Hey, we also get an Ike flyby. This is nice. Hello Ike. Bye bye Ike. Okay, where was I? Yeah, okay, three sections in this configuration. Crew section, lander section and main engine section. So we're burning to get our safe orbit around Duna, there we go. And then you can observe how this module thingy actually works, there we go. We remove the lander from the center assembly. And then we reattach the front crew section. There we go! Okay, and this lander of course is um, specialized for landing on Duna. The thing I forgot to say before is that the, all components are designed to fit in a 3.75 meter cargo bay if there was such a thing, so we have to use fairings. Okay, stretching our legs on Juno's surface. This was nice. We don't collect any science because this is sandbox mode and I just want to show off. And take off! There we go. Okay, heading through the clouds provided to us by environmental visual enhancements and scatterer and... Engine light is also at work here for visual mod enjoyment. And then of course we have to get our usual rendezvous burn stuff going on. There we go, we're looking good over here. Once again Ike in the background, hi Ike. Actually I've never been to Ike, I've played more than 3000 hours of this game and I haven't never been to Ike. Well this is going to change in the future getting the lander back. We could as well leave it in orbit and just get the crew back to Kerbin, but I want to get the entire thing back to our home planet. Okay, once we got our transfer window back to Kerbin, we blast the engines once more and then we get our encounter, which we will adjust a little bit later on, but I think I've cut that out. Yes, I did. And then it's time to leave Duna. Actually, I like Duna. I don't go there very often, but every time I do, I enjoy it for some reason. Maybe it's its close resemblance of Mars or something like that, I don't know. Let's enjoy this retrograde burn so we can get captured around Kerbin. There we go. Safe, stable and circularized. And then it's time to get back to the surface, of course. And in order to do that, we detach the front crew section. And then we're going to deorbit this thing. One thing I didn't think really think about uh, during the design phase was that 
Well, backwards re-entry with this thing is impossible since aerodynamic forces will flip it up front. But it doesn't matter because we have our parachutes and they can stabilize it while descending. And while watching the beautiful scenery, we touch down. And yes, that was, for a change, a sensible spaceship from the Shadow Zone. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.